So this here is kind of an experiment with a bunch of old beers dumped into a carboy and re-fermented with it's going to be omega yeast all the brats. <clears throat> so what I did is I started out with two gallons of old beer that I was already doing in in this fashion. I don't recall what the two different yeasts were, but I did one with Rosalaire and one with I think just a regular Brett mixture, I think Brett C. And if you watch any of my earlier videos, like early early, you know that I have all this really old beer. I mean this stuff is from 2005 I think and it's all I don't know <laughs> it's old I I don't really feel like drinking it anymore I couldn't find any of the the dates on any of the bottles but I think it's around between 2005 and 2008 maybe but anyway rather than throw these away or take a few sips and then dump them out I'm gonna try and make something maybe decent out of it I'm gonna dump it in here. Like I said, I've already got two gallons. I'm gonna put what I can in here. It's um, mostly Sam Adams stuff, a couple lining kugels, and a few new Glarus that aren't meant for aging. So I'm gonna do what a lot of other people did that I've read on other blogs and websites about dumping them in and fermenting with bread. I've got some maltodextrin in there that I boiled. And it's cooling down now. It'll dump in to add a little something for the the brett to eat over time. Hopefully, I'll leave this for about two years and see what happens after there. If nothing good happens, that's fine. That's then I can just dump it out like all this beer like I was going to. But if it turns out good, then that'll be great because brett beer is pretty awesome. So. I'll pause it and jump back in when I've got a few of the bottles in. Just jumping back in here after I've got a few in. Just wanted you to hear the the opening of the bottles. They sound really weird after all this time. They give kind of a pop. They all smell really similar. Just maybe a little bit of difference. They smell really malty, like caramel but other than that there's not a whole lot of distinction between them all right back we're at about halfway now and I'm gonna dump in the the yeast all right here we go I cut it open and I'm gonna see if I can hold my phone here and dump a little ah I want to save some back make a good beer later on with this stuff so I got that sanitized and everything dump this in quick and throw the lid on that all right so there's that and there's that all right that's all of them as you can see they all had uh, they were all really well carbonated but they all pretty much smelled the same I mean with the exception of I mean, the Lining Kugels apple spice beer smelled a little apple-y, and the Lining Kugels original smelled like nothing. Uh, the New Glarus Black Wheat actually smelled really good still, but it's, they all still had that kind of burnt candy caramel smell to them, so I'm going to wait till the foam subsides mm -hmm. on this. Maybe I'll add another bottle or two whatever it'll take but I want to leave a little bit of headroom on it so once that brett starts to go to work it'll need some work I'm need some uh, area to work with some headspace but I don't want to leave too much room I'm curious to how this will work out and how much stress this alcohol and the malt that's basically been chewed through for years to see what the Brett will do. Studies have shown that Brett will work with, will chew through pretty much everything till there's nothing left to consume and then consume even the autolysized yeast 
cells so we'll see what happens and that's all I did is I put the eight ounces of maltodextrin in boiled and then cooled and if you haven't had the pleasure of boiling maltodextrin by itself it smells pretty awful I've always just put it in the wort in the boil at the beginning and you don't really notice it but man by itself it's pretty bad <laughs> so I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw an airlock on this and maybe let that foam go down and I'll keep you posted